Right now, we are working to learn more details about that triple shooting that happened yesterday in downtown Cincinnati. You know, it all took place in broad daylight during a very busy day. Rachel Hersheimer joins us live now with more details on that status of the investigation. Rachel? Well, Curtis and Lindsay, police have not released any information regarding a suspect in custody. 24 hours ago, this park here was a crime scene after three people were shot in a broad daylight. Now, fortunately, those individuals suffered non-life threatening injuries. They are expected to be OK. Those victims include a 29 year old male and two women. It took place just before six o'clock as people were out enjoying the beautiful weather yesterday. Witnesses we spoke with tell us they were eating ice cream down the street when the gun fire erupted. That's when they ducked for cover. They also told us it appeared someone on a bike pulled up to a group of people gathering in the park near Garfield Place and began shooting. Police say they believe this incident was targeted and do not believe there is an ongoing threat to the public. Today, there are a lot of people who are walking up and down Garfield and race who feel safe walking around and others have their guard up. Unfortunately, you know, we live in a big city. Um, things like that do happen, but I don't think that it takes away from the city. Um, I moved here on purpose for a reason. I, I love being here. There's nothing that would take me out of it, but things like that are disappointing for sure to see. Right now, police have not released any information regarding a suspect. Again, if anyone is in custody, if you have any information related to this shooting, you're asked to contact Cincinnati Police. We're live tonight in downtown. Rachel Hersheimer, WLWT News 5. Hey, Rachel, before you get away, the, there's a saying, you know, what a difference a day makes. Uh, give us some perspective of the police presence today versus the way it looked yesterday. Yeah, Curtis, we have seen a couple of police cars driving up and down this street here on Garfield, but it was very different yesterday. We saw dozens of police officers sifting through this scene, so it is a lot quieter as police continue to search for a possible suspect. All right, thanks.